Well, we got our leprechaun, Will. I mean, if the crowd doesn't love this guy on St. Patrick's Day, they'll love no one. This is the body type that you gotta root for. This is the body type. It is, especially how can you root against a, a leprechaun you on, can't. on St. Patrick's Day, you just can't do now it. Now don't get me, I, I need to be neutral. And I will remain neutral for the, for the broadcast. But if your heart's not with a leprechaun on St. Patrick's Day. So John Flansburg coming to us out of Goju Ryu Ki MMA in St. Johnsville, New York. You know, that tends to be a little bit more of a traditional striking style, so it's gonna be interesting to see if he tries to keep it on the feet or, you know, allow it to go to the ground. Not much to know about this guy or his school yet. So has he fought, and he has not fought with Cage Wars before? No. Nope. Here he comes, the leprechaun. And the crowd loves him. I feel like it's mixed. Some of them are, are not, not, you know, rooting for They're him. They're not sure. And that is local, correct? You said St. Johnsville? St. Johnsville, New York. Yep. And his opponent making his way to the red corner, Daniel Van Nostrand. So Daniel's looking to find the pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow in the form of a knockout, because this is another big boy coming into the cage. And again, this is another unknown here. You know, he's listed as Ryuki MMA, or Ryuki Tilted Kilt MMA, so I'm assuming they, they may work at Tilted Kilt may train together. You know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting one, but heavyweights, they tend not to go to the, to the, to the distance here. Uh, and he is a lot, well naturally, he's gonna be taller than the Leprechaun. But he definitely has that reach advantage. And he sure does. How do you predict this one? You know, I, with heavyweights being 0-0, oh oh, it's hard to predict. Yeah. I just see a lot of free swinging. I do. And it is St. Patrick's Day. Someone may be looking to get a little lucky. But I feel lucky sitting next to the great Will Berry. We're gonna throw it up to Mike Falvo. Great to have Falvo back, by the way. It sure is. The upcoming contest on the card for Cage Wars 57. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It is in our heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in last night at 248 pounds. Representing Goju Ryuki MMA out of St. Johnsville, New York. John, the Leprechaun Flansburg. He's definitely got a personality. <laughs> he sure does. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday at 255 pounds. Representing Ryuki Tilted Kilt Mixed Martial Arts out of Northville, New York, Daniel Van Nostrand. And the man in charge of the action when that door closes, Mr. Laszlo Hoove. All right, well, over under one and a half rounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's done before the third round. Okay. These guys, I have a feeling I'm gonna try to throw some heavy hands. So you don't think, you think this this doesn't make it to round three? No. I agree. Here we go. Good energy. We're gonna throw some bombs. Looking to open up with that kick. Oh, in the off. Oh, there goes oh. the ball. Oh. oh. That was, I, I felt like WWE. That was a lot of man flesh coming at us. Thank God they do the cage right here. I Listen, shout out to our crew because that stood up to some force. That could have been all bad for us. So what is happening now, Will? Well, right now he's got Flansburg's left arm trapped. Flansburg's trying to pass that guard. We see, uh, you know, his opponent has that closed guard, so he's not going to threaten anything or, or roll or reverse. But again, he's just trying to stop Flansburg for a second, slow the action down. And it's worth noting, too, Novice ground and pound, no strikes to the head. So if you're watching on stimulus.com and you're thinking just, just blast him, punish him, you have to be strategic about where you land those shots. You do, and that's why with the novice rules, you know, sometimes the strategy is to initiate a stand up from the ref. And that may be what, uh, what Van Nostrand's looking to do right here. 
I think he feels his his path to victory is on the feet. You know, he want to throw the heavy kicks, heavy hands. And as we see, Flansburg is not against going to the ground. So Goju, Ryu, Key or not. But again, you see Van Nostrand just kind of tying, tiring himself out, just holding him there with that closed guard. There we go, Flansburg broke that guard. His corner giving him instructions. Laszlo Juve in there, making sure nobody grabs a guard. Good nice job, job throwing those legs, transitioning a side mount. At this point, Van Nostrand doing a good job getting to his feet, putting Flansburg against the cage. At this point, it's just who wants it more. There's not a whole hell of a lot of technical aspects to this right now. These are This is some grunt work right here. This is the grind. And really, who's got the conditioning to last? You know, we talked about being their first fight. They're both big heavyweights. You know, who can tire the other one out? And Van Nostrand right now, with his back up against the cage, was taking a couple of big body shots that here. That was Flanagan. Okay. Flanagan's up against the cage. Flanagan up against the cage, excuse me. Flanagan in the blue. Took a couple of big body shots. But he's got plenty of protection down there. He does, and Van Nostrand is trying to free his head. 30 seconds left to go in a, in a pretty entertaining round one with a couple of big boys here. Flansburg looking to, to trip that right leg of Van Nostrand, gonna try to turn him to his left. Van Nostrand separates, says let's bang. 16 seconds. And again, how much energy did that take, that big shot? Oh! Nice job. Nice job by Flansburg. Excellent job to end up in side mount. The Leprechaun has won the crowd over, Brian. The Leprechaun closed the round with his opponent on his back. The crowd loves it. Listen, we didn't see a lot of great stuff there, but both of these athletes have a lot of have a lot of fans. There's a tremendous rooting interest in the crowd here tonight. I have a lot of fans and have a lot of power. You know, uh, Van Nostrand strikes are powerful. Flansburg's takedowns, you know, have proven to be powerful. And it's going to be an issue here for me is which one has the energy and can last longer and bring that opponent into the deeper waters. Who do you think won round one? I believe that's Flansburg all the way. You know, he executed the takedowns, ended up on top. Um, you know, he didn't really take any damage on the feet from, it, from Van Nostrand. Doesn't so, again, Flansburg 10-9. And uh, we're watching him care for their fighter in between rounds. He doesn't appear to be breathing too heavy. Neither does Van Nostrand, though, either. You know, both these guys doing very well, keeping their energy. There's no hesitation for both of them getting off the stool. Flansburg still has enough energy to play to the crowd. I just think he loves to fight. I mean, some guys just love to fight. I think he wants it. He's, he wants it. He's like, let's go. Let's bang. He does, and his opponent is much taller with a much longer reach. <laughs> that nice hook kick attempt again. You know, with his opponent being that tall, though, I would try to attack those legs, attack the body. Ooh. You know, I agree that Flansburg probably won the first round, but Van Nostrand has landed the bigger shots. But he missed quite a few of them. You know, so really in the judging criteria, but it's pressure, it's damage, it's effective technique. Right now, Van Nostrand looks to make this round his round. He landed two of three rights there, and he sent Flansburg back just enough. And he's looking to land a bomb right. And you see Flansburg, you know, trying to avoid the hands, change the level, go for the takedown. This is real intelligent fighting here by Van Nostrand. Great job here. And Those it, are big shots. It, it is. It's not going to end the fight, but it's going to tire your opponent out. It's going to give you control time uh, in the judge's eyes. Absolutely. And body language is a lot. You know, Flansburg, who was, you know, said, bring it on, now looks like he's he doesn't... He's had a little change of opinion of his opponent. Oh! He's trying to, to time that big right hand into a takedown. Breathing from the mouth now pretty heavy. A minute and 40 left to go in round number two in what has turned into a really entertaining striking match here. Van Nostrand doing a good job realizing Flansburg's path to victory is a takedown and trying to keep that distance. Does Flansburg just look a little out of it to you right now? He does. He he took a lot of energy, yeah. you know, going for all those takedowns. Van Nostrand looking to sink that right arm in underneath the neck. It's tough though with big guys because they don't have necks. <laughs> is it in deep enough for him to finish? I don't think so. Nope. Van uh, Flansburg gonna sneak out of it. 
And credit to Nostrand here because he's been very methodical in his approach in a dominant round number two. And he's using the knees to the body and the ground a pound. You know, a lot of these novice guys and girls forget about that. And it's just wearing Flansburg out. You know, even that left arm on Flansburg face is just uncomfortable. You know, you can't breathe. It's just, it's and not a good place to be. And right now, if you're Van Nostrand, you should be taking advantage of the slow separation. He could have landed a couple more ground shots there, but he seems to be doing just fine. He was. You know, he feels he's got control of this fight. You know, he, he's going to be happy to take this this round and bring it into the third round. And you know what? These two gentlemen proved me wrong. We're going to make round three. Van Nostrand doing a good job making his, hep his hips heavy on Flansburg's head. And he stands him up, stand here him up for the final 20. I guess if you're if you're if you're Flansburg, you might be conserving a little bit of energy, but he just looks gassed at this point. Again, you know those big takedown attempts—they take a lot of energy, especially from a heavyweight. But he's showing some life here at the end of the round. Very nice. Round three, we go, and a dominant round by Van Nostrand there. Could be even. It could be even going into the third. And considering it being even, I'm going to give the advantage to Van Nostrand going into this third round because he seems like the fresher athlete of the two. The third and final round, again, you know, neither of us thought it was going to make it this far, so kudos to these guys. Nope. I slammed the under. It was one and a half rounds, and I'm already down some money here. I haven't even gone out on the casino floor. Oh, they're going to take my money later. <laughs> what do you play? Do you play? Uh, just slots. <laughs> uh, I'm not a big card guy. Van Nostrand ready to go. He's up off the, the stool. I get Van Nostrand credit. After round number one, he appeared to be down, but changed his tactic a little bit and he just he imposed his will on Flansburg in round number two but I don't think we've seen the end for him the, the leprechaun didn't come in here on St. Patrick's Day to not give it all he's got here we go third and final round who are they cheering for it's hard to tell yeah I mean I would I would say it, it has to be the leprechaun right I don't know. Van Nostrand could be winning some folks over with this with this performance. Again, you know, Flanagan wants to close this distance, shoot for the legs. I mean, if we were to look at significant strikes, it's probably three to one Van Nostrand, but it's not a running tally, and, and it appears as though each one of these guys may have won a round. He definitely wants to keep Flanagan at the end of his strikes. Flanagan looking to change levels and attack the takedown. There we go. Look for the double oh. leg. And, Good and job transitioning. And Flansburg completely changed the whole complexion of the of the fight. And we know who the crowd was hoping for. Absolutely. But so far when Flansburg has gotten here, he's not been able to do anything. So, you know, it's going to be an issue of are they going to stand it up? Can Van Nostrand, you know, get out of this bad position and with an open guard? And it's so hard because you can't throw ground strikes to the head as a novice. So your window of striking opportunity is so small. Flansburg looking to transition him out. Nice job here by Flansburg. He's in a he's nearing a dominant position, don't you think? He's playing to the camera a little bit. Uh, you know, all that's good and well, but you gotta win the fight. All that's good and well, but you should be throwing some strikes. Referee telling him about the uh, the cage and the strikes to the face to be careful. Throw punches. He's talking to Van Nostrand a little bit right now. I think that if he feels if he can win this round dominantly, he's going to win this. I think he just said, I love this shit. I love this shit. And now if you're Van Nostrand, you've got to employ every strategy possible. You've got to kick. You've got to buck the hips. There you it is. You've got to use the cage. There we go. Oh, knee right on his head by accident. That sucks. That's a lot of man meat, knee in your face on the way down. <laughs> Van Nostrand trying to wall walk, but again, Flanagan being heavy, you know, he's a short, compact guy. 30 seconds left to go at this point. Flanagan trying to do just enough to keep them in this position, not allow a stand up by Lazlo Juve. Still playing to the crowd. And Flansburg did do a nice job. He was he was dominated. He was 30, thoroughly beaten in round number two, but he's come back strong here. He conserved just enough energy to, 
to put on a very convincing show in round number three. It's going to be interesting as we go to the judges' scorecards. Ten seconds left to go. A dominating end of the round for Flansburg. This may have very well won this fight for him. I mean, you can make an argument that's 10-8. You could. You can make an argument. I'm not saying it. It is, it is 10-8. Van, Van Ostrand using knees from the bottom. I mean, he didn't give up, but he wasn't getting out. But the leprechaun thinks he won. And he, I mean, he's won over, he's won over the crowd. We have a new fan favorite here, Brian. But I, we don't know that he's won the fight. No, but I think him I think him just making it through the fight after that second round and ending in that dominant position for his first fight is a win. I mean, that would be the biggest letdown ever if somehow he did not win this fight. <laughs> the crowd loves him. The crowd's calling for the interview, but that's not going to happen until the main card, folks. Sorry, we got a long night of fights here. <laughs> well, I would gladly turn in my headset, Will, if you want to talk to... The leprechaun. You want to put that sweaty thing back <laughs> no. on after that? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I'll hold the headset and stick the microphone in his face. You know, Van Nostrand seems to be a little disappointed. I, I think he felt like after that second round, it was his fight to win. And you know what? Flansburg came back and, and more than likely stole it. That's a great point, Will. I think we all thought after round number two that it was Van Nostrand's fight to win. Flansburg's game, he's, he's like a younger ginger tank Abbott. Absolutely. There's this guy in WWE, Shush. Have you ever seen that guy? No. Okay. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for these two great fighters in one hell of a fight? Listen to this crowd. This definitely got the crowd going. And now, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the official scorecard. All three judges have scored the fight 29-28. For your winner by way of unanimous decision, John the Leprechaun Flansburg. Oh, boy. Watch it. Listen. You know, it's amateurs, novice. Nobody's getting paid to be in there. Good for him. This you know, is... Good and, for him. And he won that third round, and that was the deciding factor. It was 29-28 across the board. I love the enthusiasm. I love that Cage Wars has a budding fan favorite. I don't know if he's if he's a champion down the road, but listen to this crowd. That's what it's really all about. They're going nuts. This is the loudest they've been all night. 